this video I'm going to be specifically making it for my M104 class at IUK. We're going to take a look at solving and graphing some compound inequalities. We're going to focus on the AND examples, so there's going to be AND in each one of the problems. And we are going to take a visual approach to this on a number line, um, just to kind of give a basis for starting this before we start algebraically solving um, and graphing these compound inequalities. This information is coming out of section 4-2 for those students that are in my class. All right, so let's say we've got x is less than or equal to 6 and x is greater than or equal to 2. All right, so I want to know what the solution is here. I can take, since you know they're already solved, these are just simple, nice little inequalities here. Um, I can take an approach as putting each of them on a number line, on a separate number line, and then looking to see what part overlaps. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this first x is less than or equal to 6. Okay, and actually I'm going to draw three, I'm just going to go ahead and draw all three number lines. So we're going to take a number line approach here. Okay, on this first one, alright, let's do x is less than or equal to 6 on this one. On this one we're going to do x is greater than or equal to 2. And on this one will be our solution then. Now, I do want to line up these number lines. So I need 2 and 6 on both these number lines. So I'm going to put 2 here and I'm going to put 6 here. Alright, and I'm going to line up my 2 on all three of the number lines. Okay, so if I do this first one, x is less than or equal to 6. Okay, so that means 6 is going to be included, and I want all the numbers that are less than 6. All right, so we're going to have a square bracket on 6, and all the numbers that are less than 6 are over here. Okay, now I'm going to graph this one x is greater than or equal to 2. All right, so again, 2 will be a solution, so I'm going to use a square bracket. All right, and then the numbers that are bigger than 2 go this way. All right, now, what I have to do for my solution here is I have to ask myself, okay, of these two no number lines here that I've got, where do they overlap? All right, and they overlap in between the 2 and the 6. All right, so then that means my solution is going to be the square uh, bracket on the 2, the square bracket on the 6, and then the part that overlaps or got shaded on both number lines. So that is my solution. All right, in a from a very visual approach here, looking at it from number lines. All right, now if I wanted to write this just in interval notation, it's real easy to take it from the number line and write it in um, interval notation as square bracket 2 to 6 square bracket. Okay, so ands, you are looking at your number lines and you're looking to see what part overlaps. Okay, now let's take the same approach over here and see what happens with this one. So again, I'm going to need three number lines, roughly the same length. Okay, we'll make this top one x is less than 3. We'll make the bottom one x is greater than 7, and then this bottom one here will be my solution. All right, so obviously the two numbers that I'm focusing on here are 3 and 7, so I'll put the 3 right here, and I'll put the 7 right here, and I want to line them up on all of my number lines, so we'll put 3, and we'll put 3, 7, and 7. All right, so again, on this first one, I want to graph x is less than 3, okay, so less than 3, so uh, 3 will not be a solution, so curvy bracket, and then numbers that are less than 3 are going to be to the left, so I'm shading there. All right, this one says x is greater than 7. Again, 7 will not be a solution, and these are the numbers that are greater, so curvy bracket, and I'm going to be shading this direction. Okay, now I have to ask myself, okay, what part overlapped? All right, well, nothing overlapped. Okay, from the first number line to the second number line coming down, there are no parts that are overlapped. All right, so there is nothing on this last number line. So in this one, this turns out to be a no solution because there were no overlapping parts. Okay, so this is just a nice brief little introduction on um, and inequalities, all right, and what they look like from a visual perspective. Okay. So definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.